it's Girl About Library, and I am so excited to be doing this video. This video for me is right up there with the booktube newbie tag as far as videos that I'm excited to do right off the bat. My TBR shelf is behind me, and clearly I have some books that I need to read. Before I start though, I do want to say that my username on YouTube is 100% me. I am a girl about the library. The library is 100% the first place that I go when I hear about a new book, either on YouTube or Instagram or wherever that I want to read. But being a book lover, as you guys know, no matter how hard you try to get books at the library, you end up with a lot of physical books as well. And while I'm really good about reading books and then returning them to the library, I'm not so good about reading books that I have. Hopefully this tag will get me motivated to read these books. Obviously this is going to be an incredibly long video, even though I don't have that many books back there. So I'm going to put links down below to all of the books because what I would absolutely love is for you guys to tell me if you've read one of these books. What did you think of it? Did you finish it? Did you DNF? Or even if you haven't read it, if you've just heard good things or bad things, please let me know. So I will have links below and a list of all of the books that I mentioned in this video today, just in case you don't feel like sitting through this. But for those of you who do, let's get started. Oh, also, I don't know that much about these books. That's part of them being on my TBR shelf. So I might not be able to give the best of a synopsis of the book. I mean, I'm careful to pronounce the author's name. Um, and that is another reason why. Links down below. Fun. The Rosie Project by Greeny Simison. Simeon? Sim I'm already having trouble. I have heard such good things about this book. Um, I picked it up at half price for $5. It's supposed to be hilarious and heartfelt, and I really want to read this one. Brooklyn by Colm Toybin. I have absolutely no idea why this is on my TBR shelf because I'm currently reading it. I am on page 91 and I'm really enjoying it. Echoes of Family by Barbara Claypool White. I think this is historical fiction. This is an arc I received. Ali and B by Katherine Hyde. This is actually up next on my TBR list and I'm really excited to get into it. This book comes out in May. It just looks like a really sweet story. Start Up by Dory Chef Rear. Dog. <laughs> I think this book is about startups, like about the tech world. Again, an arc I was sent, but I think this book came out earlier this month. Um, so if you guys have read it, let me know. Broken Verses by Camila Shin Shamsi. I was supposed to read this book for um, a book club that I am in, and I just didn't go to it. Oh, I still have it. And I do, but I do want to read it. Everyone in the group seemed to really enjoy it, so we'll see. The Road to Wellville. You know those books on your like physical TBR that you have no idea how they got there? This, this. Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kingsolver. Um, I've heard really good things about this book. I recently picked this up at half price, and I think the idea behind it is just so cool. Her family for an entire year only eat foods that either they produce themselves or that were produced by people who are close to them. And so I'm really excited to hear about how they made that work. Shop Girl by Steve Martin. I love Steve Martin. I think he is hilarious and this being such a quick read, hope that I'll get to this pretty soon. American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I have not read anything by Neil Gaiman, which is something I need to fix soon. And so that is why I picked this up. A Good American by Alex George. I read Setting Free the Kites by Alex George and absolutely loved it. Um, I'll put a link below to my 60 second review of that book. If you haven't heard of it, uh, you should absolutely check it out. I just, I loved that book. And so I'm more than excited to start another book by him. Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. I love his books. I've read a couple of them. They're nonfiction books, but the way that they read feels very much like a fiction book in that it's very suspenseful and there's definitely like a narrative that you follow. And so I've heard really good things about this book and hopefully I'll get to it soon. Oh, the glory of it all. This book is like the grandpa of books on my shelf. I think I've had this book on my shelf for at least seven or eight years and I have no idea why I haven't gotten to this 
So if you've heard about this book, please let me know. I want to say that I saw some reviews for it that weren't particularly encouraging, and so that's why I haven't picked it up yet. But it has a really cool cover. So. <sighs> War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I was actually sent this book by Penguin Classics, and I so appreciate them sending it to me, and I do really want to read it. I think it would be so fun to do like a 60 second book review of War and Peace. I've tried listening to it as well, and it's just, it's intimidating. I don't know that much about Russian history, so it's just, it's a lot to get through, but I definitely want to accomplish that. Holy Bones by Alice Siebold. This is a movie that I've seen a couple times and really enjoyed. Um, I'm sure that the book is great and I just, I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited to. A Little Life um, by Hanya Yana Gihara. Uh, I have heard such, such good things about this book. Um, it's a little intimidating because it's longer, but I'm sure it's 100% worth that because I have heard really good things about that as well as it being a Man Booker Prize finalist. It's definitely a book that I want to get to this year. I'm Glad About You by Teresa Rebeck. I think I was sent this book or I want it in a, I want it in a giveaway. P.S. Goodreads giveaways are where it's at. I cannot tell you the number of times I have won one of those and because you're able to pick which books you're entering for for the giveaway, it's a really good opportunity to score a book that you might not have otherwise gotten. But, like I said, I have absolutely no idea what this book is about. My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. I love Jodi Picoult. I've read a couple of her books, and I've also seen snippets of the movie for My Sister's Keeper, but I'm pretty sure I want to read this before I watch the movie. Even though I've heard the endings are different. Well, book first. The Shipping News um, by Annie Prolix. I, this is one of those classics that I picked up um, and just haven't gotten a chance to read yet, but it won the Pulitzer Prize, so probably pretty good. Michael Shaban, The Yiddish Policeman's Union. I love Michael Shaban. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I read Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. I've also, I mean, I've read a couple of his books. I can't remember the names of all of them. I'm sure there's another one back there. Up on the red shelves. I love his books, and I've heard good things about this one as well. Speaking of Michael Shaban, I have another one of his books here, Telegraph Avenue. Um, I just, I read a book by him. I can't remember what it was. I'll put it here. <laughs> but I read that, loved it so much that now every time I see one of his books at a resale shop and it's like affordable, I pick it up. Everything That Rises Must Converge with Flannery O'Connor. This is another kind of classic that I want to get to and just haven't gotten a chance to yet. Cold Mountain by Charles Frazier. Loved this movie, loved this movie. And so picked up the book when I saw it and I hope that I get to this. Same thing, Up in the Air, Walter Kim, absolutely loved the movie, Anna Kendrick, Spirit Animal, and this book was a dollar in the clearance section, so had to grab it. American Wife by Curtis Sittenfeld. Curtis Sittenfeld is also the author of Prep, and I know I've read that, it's just been a really long time, but this book was named one of the top 10 books of the year by Time, People, and Entertainment Weekly. I'm such a sucker for like, their reviews on the back of books like tell me that someone thought this was the best book of the year and I am hook line and sinker I'm there The Circle by Dave Eggers this is a book that I want to read like ASAP because I want to see the movie I love Emma Watson and I also love Dave Eggers so I'm sure this is gonna be one to read The Things We Wish Were True another book pretty sure I won this in a giveaway not 100% sure what this is about but again Enjoying the cover. The Roanoke Girls by Amy Ingle. This is an arc that I was sent and I haven't read yet. Pretty sure this is a murder mystery, um, and so I just kind of need to be in the right mood. Emma by Jane Austen. I picked this one up pretty recently because I saw a couple of reviews. I think it was like a book tag about classics, and a lot of people were recommending this book, um, and so it's definitely... I read a couple of Jane Austen books, but not as many as I should have, and I've heard really good things about this one, so gonna check it out. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. I picked this up for Book Roast um, Monthly Book in a Jar. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I'll have a link to her channel below. She is hilarious, Book Roast is. Um, she's one of the booktubers who kind of got me back into watching booktube um, and now doing booktube, and so 
I wanted to read it, I just didn't get to it, but I'm sure it's great, and, um, and it's a quick read too, so. Jodi Picoult, Handle of Care, Candy Bar Wrapper. Again, huge fan of Jodi Picoult, typically really enjoy her books, and so picked this one up, and it was a number one New York Times bestseller when it came out. The Zookeeper's Wife by Diana Ackerman. This is a movie that I'm really excited to see. I love Jessica Chastain, but on top of that, I'm kind of familiar with the story of these people um, who hid, uh, they saved over 300 people during World War II by hiding um, Jewish people from the Nazis in their zoo. And so this just sounds absolutely fascinating. Same time period, <laughs> Sarah's Key is a historical World War II fiction. Um, this is actually a book that I was sent, I don't know if you guys participated in that like Facebook kind of snail mail thing where you could give your address out and then you would get books and then you would send other people books. Well I did it and predictably only got one book. But I have heard really good things about this so I'm excited to read it. The Bitter Trade by Piers Alexander. I think I won this in a giveaway. I don't think that I know anything about it. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I watched the movie before reading this and loved the movie but still really want to read the book so I feel like I shouldn't even be allowed to own this and not have read it. Like everyone has read this. How have I not read this? Life on the Edge. This is a nonfiction book about quantum biology. And I love nonfiction books. I think I started this one and was just a little bit overwhelmed, so I definitely need to pick this back up and give it another shot. I Know This Much Is True by Wally Lamb. Um, I've seen this book a couple of times in the library, and every time I see it, the picture on the front like really catches my own. Oh, holy glare. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> anyway, the picture on the front just totally grabs my attention every time that I see this book at the library, and then I saw it at Half Price Books and picked it up for three bucks. I have no idea what it's about, but something tells me it has to do with babies. Lola. I believe this book is a thriller, and, and it's an arc that I was sent. Um, I swear, I'm really good about reading these, but every now and then, one through falls through the cracks. So if you've read this and it was good, let me know. More Jodie Picoult! <laughs> the Tenth Circle, um, and apparently a bunch of flags that were from another book. Again, she's just somebody who, when I see it, I pick it up. Ooh, this is pretty recent. The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeco. Um, this is a book that I wanted to give away, and it's YA fantasy, which I don't tend to read very often, but this one just appealed to me and sounded really good. Sarah Waters, The Paying Guest. This is a book that was really popular when it came out, and I just, I didn't get a chance to read it then. But I saw it in the clearance area for $3 at half price, so I scooped. The Chilbury Ladies Choir. More World War II historical fiction. I just can't get enough. But also, it's a very popular genre of book. And I've heard really good things about this book. I think it's about a women's choir that, or it starts out as a choir for everybody, and then once World War II hits and all of the men leave for war, it becomes a ladies' choir. And um, I'm sure it's really good. Almost to the bottom. Victor, Lodato's Edgar and Lucy. This is an arc I was sent and this book totally appealed to me because of the things that people were saying about it. Like it just sounds like it's going to be really good because of how much other people like it. And I hope I like it as much as they do. Seriously, I have so much World War II historical fiction and I had no idea. The Women in the Castle by Jessica Shetuk. I've heard really good things about this book and I plan to get to it very soon. Last but not least, The Shack by William Paul Young. Um, this is another book that I picked up because I was intrigued by the idea of the movie. I've heard a lot of people talking about this book, and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to feel about it, but I wanted to read it for myself and decide. I'll have links to as many of these books as I can find down below. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. If you made a video review for any of these books, please link it down below so that I can check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bookish content. Thanks for watching.